is Legion of Gaia here again with a quick calling call. It's Saturday, which means that's when the shipments come in for Hong Kong. And um, again, not many, just three books this week. Uh, so, uh, Batman issue 14, Rooftops Part 1. That is the regular cover. I'm not really a big fan of this cover. Catwoman's face looks really strange here. She looks really young. Maybe it's the eyes or like how small her face is in comparison to Batman's. And like, I feel like her face is also too round. Like she reminds me kind of like, Blaze. I feel like, um, yeah, not really a big fan of this cover in general. Um, I do like how the Batman logo is off center though. It's to the left, it's, it's different. Um, that's what I like about this cover, but Catwoman just really, it's really strange for me. Uh, then we also have the variant, the Tim Sale variant as usual. Um, uh, this cover, uh, I, I liked it because like the, you can see his city in the very back, like uh, like the way he draws like the buildings and stuff. It's it's simplified, but it's not like shoddy because like uh, the lines, most of them are still like connecting and stuff. Uh, the one really weird thing, like kind of weird thing, is how like the cape like flows out from where Catwoman was gripping it. It's kind of looks like kind of like a trench coat more than a cape, but it's a really minor complaint. Um, yeah, I'm not complaining if I can see if I, if Tim Sale keeps drawing Tim Sale keeps drawing um Catwoman. Uh this issue uh, I wasn't that bad. Um I just feel like I just really don't like um Batman and Catwoman calling each other Bat and Cat. It feels very strange. Um be, like considering they have such an intimate relationship with each other, they shouldn't be calling each other these really weird, like kind of code names, nicknames for each other. It just feels very very unusual, very out of character, I feel like, after like, all the development got, even in the New 52, like as bad as the Catwoman run was, it established that there was a relationship between the two of them. So I feel like they should be called, they should at least be calling each other like, Selina, or Bruce, or even like, even Batman, calling each other Batman and Catwoman would be better than calling each other Bat and Cat in my opinion, but yeah. Uh, hopefully uh, by the time there's like small, uh, storyline is finished we'll get more insight into what it's like in the rebirth universe like their relationship and stuff and also picked up uh this one uh the batman issue on the rebirth the art germ variant cover uh this is my first variant cover for the batman issue one uh very happy to pick this up for actually a very good price um i think it was around just under 20 dollars or a little bit above 20 dollars us um if you convert it back uh, I actually don't really like this cover when I first saw like the images online, but like having it in person, it looks a lot better than I thought it would. Even though I'm not a big fan of Harley Quinn, but still, um, I think this is a really nice cover. Really happy to add this as well to my collection. Also, not like for for like not a for not for a like pretty good price, I would like to say. Um, yeah. In terms of reading, haven't read much. I uh, must confess. Uh, I have been reading. Um, the 2001 Green Arrow storyline, so the Quiver storyline, that one's been very nice. Uh, so that one's like the return of Green Arrow from the dead. That one's been really good. Superman for the rebirth. Uh, the latest issue just dropped, it was really nice. It was really good as well. Uh, Justice League vs. Suicide Squad, I started reading it when issue 3 came out. And um, I think I made a good decision on that considering issue 3 is when like a lot of the action and like a lot of the exciting stuff happens. So yeah, uh, that's what I've been reading this week. Um, another really short haul, but uh, I spoke to the owner of the shop I went to and um, asked him whether any other places to buy comics, like older comics or variant covers. He said, no, there's really only two stores in Hong Kong who sells them. So uh, yeah, this is how it's gonna be like. So yeah, until next time, this has been Legion of Guile. Hey guys, back again with uh, a quick addition to the haul video I made a couple of days ago. Uh, that was because um, I was walking around a nearby, uh, it's not really a shopping center, but it's more like a big, like, building just full of tiny little shops. Like, it's not a shopping center in the conventional sense, there's no, like, food courts, uh, there's no real structure of the place, it's, it's just, like, lots of really, really tiny shops selling stuff they have. Or like uh, a lot of stuff usually is like video games, a lot of um, music albums, uh, like phone cases, trinkets, collectibles, like lots of that stuff. And it's 
there's, and like there's lots of people everywhere. Um, it's just it's like a really chaotic place, right? And um, I was just walking around there, checking out some stores for some music albums, and uh, I ran into a store which was selling like old magazines, and they had a short box full of um, single issue comics. Uh, and I picked up two copies, two, two different comics. So the first one I picked up was a uh, the '94, like the one shot special of Lobo Cop, um, which was like part of like the parody thing they had going on with Lobo. Uh, like none, of, like this isn't really worth much, but I just thought it was a really cool cover, and um, probably never going to find one of these in Australia. So uh, get now. I'll, I'll just get it now. So yeah. Um, and the second one, I'm actually really, really happy to own this. Um, I am a big fan of the Elseworlds line. And, uh, although, I will say, this is probably one of, like, the worst Batman Elseworlds books. Like, there's, there's not really even a story. It's, I right, said, so this is Batman Night Gallery. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the one where it's just, like, Batman's, like, sketchbook, right? Yeah, this is just, like, so this is, like, a from the perspective of like Bruce Wayne like on a sketchbook about like, designing like costumes and stuff and like I thought I'd like I think that's like just like the really cool part like there's just different like concepts and stuff and there's also in the back there's a lot of um yeah there's a lot of artists who worked on this so I thought that was really cool as well and I bought I got both of these for a pretty fair price um around like four dollars American I think if you convert it back so yeah really happy to own uh, Batman Night Gallery just love the Elseworlds lines even though this is not worth much still um, I really like the cover and stuff as well and like the art style like the really old style of art they they did for this uh, Lobo Cop just kind of like that as well uh, the source also had like a lot of the Return of Superman the, the rise of the Superman stuff I think the one during like the death of Superman arc and then like there was like four different Supermen which was like Superboy and then there was like the Eradicator and two other people. Yeah, they had a lot of that run as well. Uh, I'm not sure why. And they also had like a couple of like Green Lantern annuals, which I thought was pretty strange. And like also a lot of um image stuff, but nothing I was really interested in. They had a copy of um Jupiter's Legacy or Circle, I keep forgetting. Uh, they had like volume two is the first issue but um again okay, even though i'm pretty interested in getting into that story into that like book uh i didn't really want to pick that up because you know uh, i have to take this all back to australia with me and there's only so much luggage i can carry so yeah um just just a quick addition to this uh so yeah um i haven't commented as much on like the the few comments on my videos or I haven't replied or like on other people's videos because like you know like, I just leave the video uploading to YouTube, and then I, I, I go out, and I'm pretty much out, like, every single day, because uh, I leave in, like, three weeks, which is uh, quite quite a long time, actually. But, like, you know, like, there's, there's, like, I, I still, there's still so many people and stuff I want to see, and places I want to go, like, hang out with, and be, like, friends and stuff I want to go hang out with again. So, yeah, um, I'll try to, my best to, like, comment on, like, and reply to people uh also no problem is because like i'm just subbed to so many channels now there's so many comic book channels and also in addition to that uh on this account i'm also subbed to like a couple of like video game channels um like a lot of magic the gathering channels uh just like a lot of different channels i'm subbed to so like that kind of makes it hard for me because like there's like 20 new videos every day or something like that a lot of times so yeah I uh, apologize for that. But yeah, uh, until next time, this has been Legion of Guile. Uh,